Chapter 1271, Lymph Needs Help Ever since Eumixi's relatives had heard that her family was going to move into a new apartment, they teamed up together, trying to get some money from Eumixi's family. Therefore, Eumixi's older uncle and aunt were angry when Eumixi's younger aunt fell on the ground. Eumixi's older uncle shouted at Gunning, How could you push her down? I pushed her down? Ridiculous. It's she who wanted to attack me and I just avoided it, Gunning said. She indeed hadn't pushed Eumixi's younger aunt but she secretly hit her foot. However, since Eumixi's older uncle didn't see it, she wouldn't admit it. After all, Eumixi's younger aunt had attacked her first, and she was simply protecting herself. Actually, if a man dared to attack Gunning, Gunning wouldn't hesitate to be more violent. You! Eumixi's older uncle didn't know what to say now. Boss, do you need help? At this time, How Ran, Kinzixon, and Jang Danping ran over. They came here in Hao Ran's car, and they saw Ganing's car at the side of the road. They felt strange and looked around for Ganing, then found that Ganing was arguing with Yu Mixi's relatives close by. Therefore, Hao Ran stopped his car well and they went to help Ganing. Yu Mixi's older uncle and aunts felt scared when Hao Ran and the other strong boys walked over. Do you have anything else to talk about with me? If not, I need to go now. Gunning stared at Eumixi's older uncle. Eumixi's older uncle opened his mouth, but didn't dare to utter a word. Gunning snorted and left. When Gunning, Haoran and the others visited Eumixi's family with many gifts, Eumixi's parents felt flattered, and they repeatedly thanked Gunning because she helped them get their new home. Even though Gunning said that it was a benefit for Eumixi, Yu Mixi's parents still felt grateful to her. Gunning told Yu Mixi's parents that she just ran into Yu Mixi's older uncle and aunts outside the gate. She also reminded Yu Mixi's parents to be careful. If anything terrible happened, they could call the security office for help. Yu Mixi's parents disliked Yu Mixi's older uncle and aunts, and they were unwilling to see them. After having dinner, they watched TV together and chatted with each other. A while later, Gunning received a call from a strange number that belonged to City G. Gunning picked it up and figured out who its owner was the second she heard his voice. Um, hey, is this Gunning? A man sounded nervous on the phone. It was Linf. Linf absolutely knew that this was Gunning's number, but he still asked that question to make sure of it. Yes, I am, Gunning said. This is Linf. Do you still remember me? We met each other at the freeway to County X the other day, Linf said. Yeah. May I help? Gunning asked. The National College entrance examination is just over. How do you feel now? Linf asked with concern. Not bad, Gunning said. I. When Linf wanted to say something else, he was interrupted by a loud sound as someone kicked the door open and said, F what happened? How could you injure yourself right before tomorrow's competition? Hearing that. Gunning frowned. Linf called her today because of tomorrow's competition he was going to have. Sorry, please excuse me for a second. Linf apologized to Gunning. It's fine, Gunning said. Then she heard Linf talking to another man. I'll explain it to you later. Leave me alone now. The man didn't know that Linf was talking to someone on the phone when he just came in, so he spoke loudly. Now he saw Linf talking on the phone. He closed his mouth at once. Afterwards, Linf turned to talk to Gunning again. Gunning, actually I called you for your help. I know we just got to know each other and we aren't familiar at all, but it's an emergency, and I honestly don't know what I can do now. Gunning hesitated for a while, just as Linf said. They just met each other and now he asked her for help all of a sudden, which was a little strange. However, since she already agreed to make friends with him, she was unwilling to directly refuse to help him. Can you tell me what has happened? The thing is that an exchange student from Country R came to City G University a few days ago. Linf sounded very angry when he talked about this student from Country R. He's a good racer, and we had a disagreement at the racetrack yesterday. He verbally abused us and our country, saying that. Linf was angrier. Even Gunning felt displeased too. Ulf continued, I was too mad so I agreed to have a car race against him tomorrow, but I was attacked by a group of people later and they injured my hand. I can't drive now. Could you please help me? No matter what you want, I'm willing to do it for you as long as I can. This competition was very important in Linf's eyes, 
Chapter 1272, of the competition on behalf of Linf, Linf understood that it must have something to do with the exchange student from country R that he was suddenly attacked by a group of strange men. However, he didn't know why the exchange student did that since he was confident to win. It was a very dirty trick. Gunning agreed that the exchange student from country R must be the mastermind of this sudden attack towards Linf. He did that in case Linf won the game. No problem. I'm willing to help you. If I need your help in the future, I'll let you know, Gunning said. Gunning agreed to help Linf because she hated people from country R2. Really? Linf was thrilled. With Gunning's help, he was confident to defeat the exchange student from country R. When and where will the competition be held? Gunning asked. Linf then told Gunning the time and place. The competition would be held at 20 race track at 2 p.m. After hanging up the call with Gunning, Linf's friend asked him, Linf, who did you invite to have the competition for you? Gunning, the girl I just told you about, and I believe in her, Linf said. He believed that Gunning was more likely to win the game than him. His friend said nothing, but he hadn't seen Gunning before, so he still worried. Nevertheless, they were left no choice now. Dot. When it was about 8 p.m., Leng Shouting called Gunning and told her that he had arrived in the capital. Gunning and her friends stayed in New Mixie's new home till 9 p.m., before they went back to their own homes. Gunning called Gao Yi after she was home, and told him to be prepared to go to City G tomorrow. Gao Yi didn't ask for the reason and did whatever Gunning told him to do. The next day, Gunning and her two bodyguards set off at 9 p.m., and they arrived at City G two hours later. Gunning didn't contact Linf right away, instead they went to have lunch first. After having lunch, Gunning called Linf and told him that she was in City G now. Linf asked her whether she had lunch yet. Gunning said that she already had lunch, so they agreed to meet at 20 race track at 1.30 p.m. It was only 12.30 p.m. now. So Gunning rested for half an hour before she went to the race track. The race track was located in a suburb, so it was a bit far. Gunning and her two bodyguards reached 20 race track a few minutes earlier than 1.30 p.m. There was a large parking lot outside, and Gunning recognized Linf's car at first glance. When she came close, Linf noticed her as well. His eyes lit up and he walked to Gunning at once, because his hand was injured. His friend drove the car for him and he sat in the front passenger seat. Hi, Gunning. Linf smiled at her. Nice to meet you, Miss Gu. Linf's friend politely greeted her. He was also excited to see Gunning in real life after knowing about her achievements. Nice to meet you too. Gunning greeted him, then turned to ask Linf, has he arrived yet? Not yet. But he said he'll come before 2 p.m. Linf said, let's go to see the track now, great. Gunning nodded. Since Gunning was going to have the competition on behalf of Linf, she drove Linf's car inside. This race track was owned by the Lin family, and it was open to everyone. Other than the race track, there was also a horse riding field, and many other amusement facilities as well. Linf needed this race track now, so it was already cleared up. Therefore, those who wanted to have auto racing had to wait in the audience seats. Many visitors were also having a rest in the audience seats. Gunning drove into a track at normal speed. The race track covered an area of 550 acres, and the track was 2.82 kilometers long with 5 left turns and 8 right turns. Gunning just had around on it before she got off it. Lin asked with curiosity. Don't you want to test the speed and get familiar with the track? No need, Gunning said with a calm face. Since Gunning said that, Linf didn't insist. Linf's friends who were all car race lovers gathered later, and they were excited to see Gunning too, because Gunning wasn't an ordinary girl, but the famous goddess Gu. In fact, given Gunning's outstanding appearance, she could still be very popular among boys even if she wasn't a genius. Afterwards, Linf introduced them to one another. Although Linf said earlier that he needed to ask for Gunning's permission if his friends wanted to see her, it was an accident today. His friends came to support him today because he was going to have the game with the exchange student from Country R. Anyway, all of them thought that Gunning was much prettier than her photos. Chapter 1273 Masaki Yoshida. When it was only 10 minutes away from 2 p.m., the exchange student from Country R finally showed up, and he came with four of his schoolmates. 
the four of his schoolmates were actually his brown noses. His name's Masaki Yoshida, and it's said that his family is very rich and powerful in country R, so he's quite arrogant. The four men are his schoolmates and brown noses, Linf said to Gunning. Linf hated the four brown noses. Gunning simply gave them a glance and said nothing. When they approached Linf, they stared at him with an unkind look, but they were amazed by Gunning's beauty once they saw her face. Masaki Yoshida even leered at Gunning making her feel disgusted. She made up her mind to teach him a lesson today. All right, since we're all here, let's go to pick a race car now, one of them said. Well, I was trapped and injured yesterday, so I can't drive today. Misku will race with Masaki Yoshida on my behalf. Would you mind? Linf turned to look at Masaki Yoshida. Linf clearly knew that the trap was set by them, but he didn't have evidence so he couldn't question them. It wasn't difficult for him to find the evidence, but he didn't want to worry his family. He had no intention to swallow the humiliation either, and was determined to pay Masaki Yoshida back. Masaki Yoshida and his brown noses panicked a little when Linf said that he was trapped. Actually, the four men didn't dare to hurt Linf because of Linf's family background but Masaki Yoshida forced them to do it. They couldn't act against Masaki Yoshida, so they paid a bunch of hoodlums to do it for them. However, because of Linf's family background, they only injured his hand so that he couldn't drive. I don't mind if this miss races with me, but there is one condition, Masaki Yoshida said. Gunning pulled her lips. What is it? She asked. If I win, you need to sleep with me for a night. Masaki Yoshida said. He didn't bother to hide his desire at all. He had domestic servants and thought about sex all the time. Gunning wasn't surprised. Linf, on the contrary, was furious. When he was about to argue with Masaki Yoshida, Gunning stopped him. It's fine. Trust me, it won't happen. Hearing that, Linf calmed down a little. He trusted Gunning but wouldn't allow other people to humiliate her like that. Gunning stared straight at Masaki Yoshida and said, what if you lose? I need to cut one of your fingers. Do you agree? Since he was shameless, she wouldn't be polite. Moreover, Gunning wasn't a weak girl at all, and it was impossible for him to take advantage of her. Masaki Yoshida was struck dumb for a second. Masaki Yoshida is an exchange student. How can you set such a condition? One of Masaki Yoshida's schoolmates defended him. His argument amused everyone. What? Do you think that Masaki Yoshida is doomed to fail? Gunning said with disdain. If so, I don't think you should have the game with me. Hearing that, Masaki Yoshida was displeased. Nonsense. I didn't say that. The man denied it without delay. Since you didn't say that, you better be quiet now. Masaki Yoshida can make the decision on his own, right? Gunning cocked her eyebrow. You. The man was mad. Don't you know that you're annoying and noisy? Gunning lost her patience. Shut your mouth now, Linf said to support Gunning at once. You. The man was full of anger, but he didn't know what to say now. He was too weak in front of Gunning. Gunning rolled her eyes at him, then turned to look at Masaki Yoshida. Masaki Yoshida, do you accept it or not? She asked. No problem. Masaki Yoshida looked confident, although he knew that Gunning wasn't an ordinary girl since she came here to have the race on behalf of Linf. He didn't think that he was going to lose. He was determined to win the race. In addition, he was attracted by Gunning's beauty. It was very exciting for him to subjugate her. Great, we can go to pick a car right now, Gunning said. Chapter 1274 Gunning is the winner. After that, Gunning and Masaki Yoshida went to pick a car, but Masaki Yoshida gave his schoolmate an unpleasant look, which meant that he was dissatisfied with his behavior. Although Masaki Yoshida also understood that he was flattering him, his behavior had embarrassed him. The schoolmate felt aggrieved, but didn't dare to complain. All the racing cars were of the same brand. Both Gunning and Masaki Yoshida started a car to see its performance. After they picked a car, they drove it out to the starting line on the racetrack. Gunning's car was number two, while Masaki Yoshida's was number five. Although Olf and his friends believed in Gunning, they still felt quite nervous at this moment. They didn't know how good Masaki Yoshida was at racing, so they were afraid that Gunning might lose the game. If they only lost the game, they could accept the result. 
but there was another agreement between Gunning and Masaki Yoshida, therefore, Linf was more worried about Gunning's safety. Masaki Yoshida's schoolmates, on the other hand, weren't concerned at all, because Masaki Yoshida had won many prizes in car racing competitions before. The second they heard the starting gunshot, Gunning and Masaki Yoshida drove their cars as fast as they could. The audience got excited, seeing the scene. Within seconds, Gunning overtook Masaki Yoshida's car. Linf and his friends felt relieved. Masaki Yoshida's schoolmates, on the other hand, got nervous. Masaki Yoshida was also anxious and sped up without hesitation, but he still failed to catch up to Gunning. Gunning's car increased the distance between them over time, and Masaki Yoshida got more and more worried. Oh, he's going to lose this time. Linf said. Don't jump to conclusions. It's too early to say that. One of Masaki Yoshida's schoolmates argued. However, he was also worried that Masaki Yoshida might lose. Fang Tanshing, don't you know that you look disgusting when you become a brown noser? Linf snorted with disdain. What did you say? Fang Tanshing was mad. I said it very clearly. Don't you understand? Linf disliked Fang Tanshing very much. How dare you humiliate me right in front of my face? Fang Tanshing raised his voice. You became a brown noser in front of an exchange student from country R just because his family is rich and powerful. I know that you hired a bunch of hoodlums to attack me, Linf said in annoyance. You. Fang Tanshing's face turned pale. He knew that Linf wasn't dumb, but Linf didn't have evidence. So even if Linf knew that he was the mastermind behind the attack, Linf could do nothing about it. However, he forgot that Linf wasn't a coward. Linf didn't have evidence, but it didn't mean that he would let them get away with it. Fang Tanshing felt scared now, because his family wasn't comparable to Linf's family. Wow, number two is so awesome. It's already so far away from number five. A person's sudden exclamation interrupted Linf and Fang Tanshing's argument. Linf left Fang Tanshing and focused on the game. Gunning was still accelerating. She didn't bother to slow down when she passed by a dog leg one. Jesus, I can't believe my eyes. The race driver of number two must be experienced. I think she might be professional. Dot. People kept complimenting Gunning. In their eyes, number two was certainly going to win. Masaki Yoshida was totally shocked in his car. To his astonishment, Gunning was able to overtake him within seconds and left him far behind along the way. No matter how he wanted to catch up to her, he was still far away from her. Linf and his friends were more excited than ever now, because they were sure that Gunning would win. A few seconds later, the number two racing car stopped at the ending line. Gunning was the winner. Masaki Yoshida's car, however, was still hundreds of meters away behind Gunning's. Yes, yes, she won. Gunning won. She won. Linf and his friends jumped up with excitement. Chapter 1275, Cut a Finger. Once Gunning got out of the car, Linf and his friends surrounded her. Gunning, you're so awesome. You're much better than I thought. Are you a professional race driver? Gunning. I'm your fan from now on. Dot. They kept complimenting Gunning. The audience didn't know that the race driver in the number two racing car was a girl until Gunning showed her face, and everyone was shocked. Jesus, the winner is a girl. I can't believe my eyes. Wow, I'm surprised that a girl can do better than a boy at car racing. Of course girls can be no better than boys. It's really amazing. Dot. When Masaki Yoshida arrived, Gunning walked to his racing car, followed by Linf and his friends. They were ready to laugh at Masaki Yoshida. Hi, loser, Gunning said to Masaki Yoshida. So what, do you dare to cut one of my fingers? I'm an exchange student in your country. If I'm hurt, it can become an international issue. Can you bear the result? Masaki Yoshida said. It seemed that he was going to deny the agreement he had with Gunning. Masaki Yoshida was reluctant to lose a finger and he was determined to get revenge on Gunning. Linf and his friends exchanged a glance with each other. Although they really hated Masaki Yoshida and couldn't wait to teach him a lesson, they knew that what he said was right. Well, do you want to deny the agreement we just had? Gunning sneered. Yes, and what can you do about it? Masaki Yoshida admitted it without delay. He was a shameless person. Besides, 
he still looked very arrogant as if he was confident that Gunning couldn't do anything to hurt him. What if I lost the game? Could I deny it as well? Gunning asked. Are you kidding me? Of course you can't, Masaki Yoshida said. Gunning was displeased. I'm afraid you can't deny it either this time. The next second, Gunning moved towards Masaki Yoshida and caught his hand like lightning. Without hesitation, she cut his little finger with a knife. Gunning moved too fast so nobody could see her movement clearly. Even Masaki Yoshida didn't realize what had happened until his little finger was cut off. He screamed in pain, which scared everyone. Gaoyi and Giaoya, however, stayed calm. After all, it wasn't the first time that Gunning had taught shameless people a lesson in a cruel way. The second Gunning cut Masaki Yoshida's little finger, she secretly put her magical power into the wound to relieve the pain. Gunning did that, not because she was nice to him, but because she just needed to cut one of his fingers off and was unwilling to make the situation worse. Masaki Yoshida was full of anger now so he didn't pay attention to what Gunning was doing. Gunning then let him go and went back to her previous position. Don't humiliate your country by being a coward. Gunning looked down her nose at Masaki Yoshida. It was Masaki Yoshida who set the bet before the game anyway. He also had the intention to sexually assault Gunning. Gunning was simply protecting herself. You. Masaki Yoshida was still in shock. He couldn't believe that Gunning really dared to cut his finger. He felt angry and humiliated at the same time. In Masaki Yoshida's eyes, Gunning was inferior to him, so she shouldn't act against him. Masaki Yoshida was self-centered and ridiculously stupid. Masaki Yoshida. Don't you know that you're very disgusting and shameless? Nobody likes you here, because you don't behave yourself at all. Don't you have any sense of manners? Gunning said, actually. Onlookers were also very mad at Masaki Yoshida. He didn't know how to respect other people, and believed that he was superior to others. It was true that nobody liked him there. Fang Tanching and the other brown noses were also like rats crossing the streets. Chapter 1276 Ask Hisa. You. Masaki Yoshida was annoyed by being humiliated in public. Call the police, now. He yelled to Fang Tanching because of Gunning's magical power, he was able to yell right now. Although Gunning didn't care about Masaki Yoshida at all, he still believed that he was a very important figure and insisted on calling the police. Call the police, please. Gunning wasn't afraid of it. She took out her phone and shook it in front of Masaki Yoshida. I have a voice recording of our argument, so the police will know who did the right thing. In that case, Gunning would only need to pay the medical fee at the most. Fang Tanshing hesitated for a while, because he thought that it was useless to call the police. Masaki Yoshida's little finger was already cut off, and it was impossible to put it back now. Seeing Fang Tanshing hesitating, Masaki Yoshida was mad. He snapped at Fang Tanshing. Didn't you hear me? Call the police. Oh, right. Fang Tanshing didn't dare to act against Masaki Yoshida. Fang Tanshing. You're really disgusting when you behave like an ass kisser. Don't you have any sense of shame? Lin laughed at Fang Tanshing again. He disdained ass kissers. Besides, the grudge between him and Masaki Yoshida was made worse by Fang Tanshing. Fang Tanshing's hand stopped for a second, because he indeed felt humiliated when Masaki Yoshida treated him as if he was his slave. Masaki Yoshida was displeased. Fang Tanshing. What are you doing? Do you forget who has helped you out? Didn't you say that you're willing to serve me as my slave? Masaki Yoshida was humiliating Fang Tanshing right in front of everyone. However, it was Fang Tanshing who abased himself before Masaki Yoshida first. Therefore it was impossible for Masaki Yoshida to treat him as his close brother. Fang Tanshing was willing to do small things for Masaki Yoshida, but he was reluctant to be his slave, even though he had made that promise. He thought that Masaki Yoshida wouldn't really treat him as a slave. Fang Tanshing finally realized that he was merely a slave in Masaki Yoshida's eyes. In other people's eyes, he was a disgusting ass kisser. Fang Tanshing was furious, and was unwilling to accept the truth, but Masaki Yoshida had helped out last time, so he had to listen to him. Therefore, Fang Tanshing swallowed the humiliation and called the police. Gunning. Do you need me to call my father? He can easily solve this problem, Lf asked Gunning. Although he knew that Gunning wasn't an ordinary girl, 
he thought that she was involved in this trouble because of him so he should deal with it. It's fine, I can handle it, Gunning said. He's an exchange student after all, and I don't want your family to be affected. I can deal with it and I have the evidence to protect myself. I think I'll just need to pay the medical fee at the end. It's not a big deal. Hearing that, Linf nodded. They were all rich people, and didn't care about the medical fee at all. Gunning didn't leave but stayed and waited for the police. Masaki Yoshida also told Fang Tanshin to call an ambulance because he still wanted to deal with his wound. There was a police station not far away from the racetrack, so two police women soon arrived. Oh, hi, Lord Lin. They recognized Lin the moment they walked near, because this racetrack belonged to the Lin family, and Lin came here often. The policemen in the nearby police station were very familiar with him. Hi, policewoman Jang, policewoman Wu. Linf greeted them with a smile. Hey, you, it's us who called the police. Masaki Yoshida was mad when the two policemen were so polite to Linf. The police women then turned to look at him, and Masaki Yoshida pointed at Gunning. This girl just cut off one of my fingers, and you should arrest her and give me an explanation. It sounded like an order. Masaki Yoshida treated the policeman as if they were his servant. The two police women were displeased after hearing Masaki Yoshida's tone, and they knew that he was a foreigner. The next second, their sight fell on his little finger which was still bleeding, chapter 1277, pay the medical fee, policewoman Wu asked Gunning, is it true, what happened, policewoman Wu saw Gunning standing with Linf, so she knew that Gunning had a relationship with Linf so she didn't dare to question Gunning, but simply asked her with a serious face, yeah, I did cut off his little finger, Gunning didn't deny it, we came here to have a car race competition, but Masaki Yoshida asked me to sleep with him for a night if I lost. Since he laid out such a shameless condition, I also said that I'd need to cut off one of his fingers if he loses. He agreed, and I have a voice recording of our agreement as evidence. Afterwards, Gunning played the recording out loud so that everyone could hear it. So what, you injured me, and you should pay for it. Masaki Yoshida shouted, he didn't care about the agreement now. The two police women frowned with dissatisfaction when Masaki Yoshida was so rude and aggressive. In fact, they had no sympathy for Masaki Yoshida after hearing Gunning's explanation. After all, he asked for it. However, since it was true that Gunning had cut off one of his fingers, she still needed to be punished for her behavior. I know I shouldn't have done it, and I'm willing to pay his medical fee. Gunning said of her own accord, if she was willing to take the responsibility, it would be much easier to solve this problem, great, so be it, you can pay the medical fee for Masaki Yoshida, policeman Wu said, no, I don't want money, I want to cut off two of her fingers, Masaki Yoshida argued, Masaki Yoshida, you agreed with Miss Gu on the condition, so you should bear the result since you lost, it is Miss Gu's fault that she directly cut off your little finger but she's willing to pay the medical fee, it's enough, so you shouldn't cause any more trouble here, policewoman Wu said, no, I don't accept this result, Masaki Yoshida was mad and threatened them, I'm an exchange student, if I'm not satisfied with this result, I'll report it to our government, and it'll become a foreign issue, do you think that you can bear the result, hearing that, the two police women exchanged a glance with each other, Gunning, instead, felt like it was ridiculous. So, you're just an exchange student and you've brought shame to your country and people. I don't think your government will be willing to protect such a shameless person like you. Gunning had no intention to give in. Our government won't allow a foreigner to humiliate our people. Do whatever you want or can do, and let's see who will be punished. Gunning added, she had a bad impression of country R, but she still didn't think that country R would protect Masaki Yoshida. In addition, Gunning wasn't an ordinary girl, she had powerful connections to protect her, even if Masaki Yoshida's family was rich and powerful too, Gunning wasn't afraid of them, you, Masaki Yoshida was mad, although he was unwilling to admit it, he couldn't deny it either, what was worse, his family background wasn't powerful enough to persuade their government to defend him, Linf's family was very influential in City G, and he would definitely support Gunning, so it wasn't easy for Masaki Yoshida to hurt Gunning. 
As Masaki Yoshida felt cornered, an ambulance came. A nurse treated Masaki Yoshida's wound and he got in the ambulance at once. He still needed to go to the hospital to check the wound. Since Gunning said that she was willing to pay the medical fee, she needed to go to the hospital as well. Linf stood out at this moment, because Gunning did it for him. He decided to pay the medical fee himself. Gunning, I should pay the medical fee, instead of you, Linf said. Fine. Gunning agreed. After that, they went to the hospital together. Masaki Yoshida remained silent along the way. Dot. During this time, many people uploaded videos of the car race to the internet, and it soon went viral. Not many people were familiar with auto racing, but they were all amazed by the number 2 racing car. Chapter 1278, Secretly Get Revenge on Gunning. She passed every turn quickly and smoothly and even left the number 5 racing car far behind, which was really impressive. When they saw a girl stepping out of the number 2 racing car, they were shocked again. Some of them also recognized that the girl was exactly Gunning. Those who were familiar with Gunning's previous achievements weren't shocked, because they were already used to it. In their eyes, Gunning was able to do anything well. However, what happened next scared them. Gunning directly cut off the number 5 race driver's little finger. After hearing Gunning's argument with Masaki Yoshida, they began to understand why Gunning did that. Jesus, it's so scary. It indeed looks frightening, but I think the man from Country R is really rude and disgusting. Right, although I don't like violence, I have to say that I feel pleased. Me too. Dot. How dare he lay out such a shameless condition in front of Goddess Gu? He asked for the punishment. One of Gunning's fans showed up on the internet. Do you know this girl? Why do you call her Goddess Gu? Search Goddess Gu on the internet, and you'll know. Therefore, many people who were curious about Goddess Gu went to search for more information about her. Dot. No wonder this girl looks so powerful. She's Goddess Gu. I support Goddess Gu. I think that Goddess Gu did the right thing because the man from Country R is really rude and aggressive. Goddess Gu is still willing to pay the medical fee. I think she's very nice. Dot. Oh, I just learned more information about Goddess Gu. She's beautiful, excellent at studying, a business genius, and a kung fu master. I'm her fan now. She's so unbelievable. Many internet users began to compliment Gunning. At the same time, Haters were also active. Goddess Gu, ridiculous. She's so young and so cruel. She isn't qualified to be an idol, right? She should be put in jail. Dot. They criticized Gunning simply because they hated her, and they completely ignored what Masaki Yoshida had done. However, Gunning's fans defended her without hesitation and those haters had to close their mouths. Although it was inappropriate that Gunning cut off Masaki Yoshida's little finger violently, Masaki Yoshida was too shameless and aggressive. Many internet users had mentioned, some famous race drivers on Weibo and they were amazed by Gunning's driving skills too. As for Gunning's cruel behavior, they didn't think it was a problem and hoped that she wouldn't be involved in more trouble in the future. Dot. In the hospital, Masaki Yoshida called his father after the wound was treated. He didn't dare to hide the truth from his father, nor did he distort it because he knew that it would only make the situation more complicated and difficult to deal with. Although Masaki Yoshida's father was very angry when he heard the bad news, he also understood that it was Masaki Yoshida's fault. Nevertheless, he was unwilling to give in, so he decided to secretly get revenge on Gunning for Masaki Yoshida. Masaki Yoshida's family wasn't the most powerful family in country R, but it was still very rich and influential, and Masaki Yoshida came to City G with four bodyguards. The four bodyguards didn't show up until Masaki Yoshida needed them. Because Masaki Yoshida was a student, it wasn't suitable for the four bodyguards to follow him all day long. Masaki Yoshida listened to his father and told his bodyguards to secretly get revenge on Gunning. He didn't know much about Gunning, so he turned to Linf. However, before he left to do that, he saw the news on the internet and got angry again. He and his schoolmates were amid criticisms now. In this way, he accidentally learned Gunning's real identity. To his surprise, Gunning wasn't an ordinary girl. In that case, it wouldn't be easy for him to get revenge on her. Nevertheless, he was unwilling to give up. No matter what would happen, Masaki Yoshida still wanted to try. He didn't tell his father and made the decision on his own. Dot. 
When Gunning wanted to leave, Linf invited her to share a meal together in order to thank her. Linf's friends also hoped that Gunning could stay here for a while longer. They truly admired Gunning, so they wanted to spend more time with her. Gunning thought for a while, then agreed. Linf brought Gunning to the Huangdan Hotel. As a first tier city, there were many five star hotels in City G, but most people still preferred the Huangdan Hotel. The Huangdan Hotel was famous for its service and dishes. Chapter 1279 Linf's Father. During the meal, Linf received a call from his father. There was no doubt that his father called him because of what had happened at the racetrack this afternoon. His father seldom called him, because his father was very busy normally and he was already a grown up. Linf excused himself and left to answer his father's call. Hey, Dad. Linf said. Tell me everything about it. Linf's father, Lin Zenteng, asked him in a serious tone. Lin Zenteng wasn't mad because he had watched the video and he understood that it was the fault of the exchange student from Country R. In addition, it was the girl who had cut the exchange student's little finger off, so there was no reason for him to be angry at Linf. However, Linf came to the racetrack along with the girl, and the girl must be his friend, so Linf was still involved in this trouble because it happened at the Lin family's racetrack, Lin Zenteng had to figure it out. He only watched the video on the internet, so he knew little about Gunning. Lin Zenteng was actually also mad at the exchange student's behavior, so he had no sympathy for him. At the same time, he was impressed by Gunning's bravery and cruelty. Lin Zenteng believed that Gunning wasn't an ordinary girl, and he was worried that Linf might be in danger if Gunning stayed by his side. Dad. The girl is my new friend, and she helped me finish the race against Masaki Yoshida. Masaki Yoshida is the exchange student from Country R, and he verbally abused me and our country right in front of my face. They had an agreement before the game. If my friend lost, she would have to sleep with Masaki Yoshida for a night. If she won, she would cut one of Masaki Yoshida's fingers off, but Masaki Yoshida denied it after he lost the game. He's so shameless. Linf said in anger, your new friend is indeed very brave and confident, but I'm afraid that she might have done many things like that before, Lin Zenteng said worriedly, Linf understood his father's worries, dad, you don't know much about her yet, why don't you search her name on the internet first, you'll change your opinion about her, Linf believed that his father would get a better understanding of Gunning after knowing what she had achieved, Lin Zenteng was curious about Gunning now, so he ended the call with Linf and went to learn more about Gunning. Although Linf walked aside to talk with his father on the phone, Gunning was still able to hear them. She didn't think that it was a problem, and kept on eating and drinking. Before long, Lin Zenteng found more information about Gunning. She was an excellent student in her school, and she had also won the championship in this year's national math competition. There were many pieces of news about her businesses as well. After reading them, Lin Zenteng was amazed. He had to admit that Gunning was even more successful than him in business. Even though Lin Zenteng was the richest man in City G right now, he was very modest. Moreover, he was able to become the richest man in City G because his family business was super profitable, and he simply took it over from the older generation. Gunning, on the other hand, built her own business empire within just half a year. It was obvious that she was going to be more successful in the future because she was still very young. Therefore, Gunning was a young girl who was worth making friends with. Dot. Gunning and her two bodyguards went back to City F at 7.30 p.m. Shortly after they left the hotel, they noticed that some people were following them. Gunning used her jade eyes and saw four young men sitting in the car behind them. They were strong and looked serious and Gunning knew that they weren't ordinary people. Gunning thought of Masaki Yoshida at once, and she had a feeling that these people were sent here by him. Although Masaki Yoshida stopped arguing with her after he was sent to the hospital, Gunning didn't think he would be willing to accept the result. Gunning had cut his little finger off after all, so it was impossible for him to let it go. Even though it was his fault, he still blamed Gunning for it. Chapter 1280 Du Jingdong is stabbed. Selfish people never thought that they were wrong, 
and they even refused to admit their faults. Gunning ignored them and told Gao Yi to drive ahead. She knew that they wouldn't attack her right now because they were in the city center. They would probably take action when they moved to the expressway. Gunning was right, the car followed them to the expressway. Actually, Gunning was able to lose them if she wanted to, but she had no intention to avoid them. Since they followed her, she decided to face them. The four young men had no idea that Gunning already found them, and they knew very little about Gunning. Although they were Masaki Yoshida's bodyguards, they listened to his father's orders. They would call his father whenever they were going to do something important. Therefore, when Masaki Yoshida told them to attack Gunning, they asked for his father's permission first. Masaki Yoshida understood that his father wouldn't allow him to do it if he learned more detailed information about Gunning so he didn't tell him anything. On the freeway, it was generally not allowed to park casually, unless you reached some places where drivers were allowed to stop their car. Gunning told Gao Yi to stop the car a while later, it was time for them to deal with those bodyguards. Masaki Yoshida's bodyguards didn't know why Gunning suddenly stopped but it was exactly what they wanted, so they didn't think further and blocked Gunning's way. It seemed that they appeared out of blue, but Gunning was already well prepared. Each of the four bodyguards had a steel stick in their hands, because they knew that Gunning had cut off Masaki Yoshida's little finger by herself, which meant she wasn't weak at all. Therefore, they carried steel sticks with them. In fact, they had no intention to kill Gunning. They just wanted to injure her. However, they were doomed to fail because their opponent was Gunning. They went straight to Gunning once they got out of the car, and Gunning along with her two bodyguards waited for them in silence. Even though they had steel sticks and more people than Gunning, they were still no match for her. Gunning and her two bodyguards didn't have any weapons, but they still easily beat up those bodyguards within a few minutes. After that, they used those bodyguards steel sticks to beat them. A short while later, those bodyguards were all beaten on the ground. Gunning and her two bodyguards only injured them severely, but left them alive. The four bodyguards were shocked by Gunning's strength and fighting skills. I know that you were sent here by Masaki Yoshida. Go back and tell him that I'll disable him if he dares to do this again, Gunning said in a cold tone. Afterwards, she got in her car and left. Once she was gone, Masaki Yoshida's bodyguards called him and told him that they failed to injure Gunning. Masaki Yoshida was furious, but felt scared of Gunning at the same time. He knew that Gunning would really disable him if he dared to attack her next time. Besides, he didn't know any fighting skills, and he was too weak compared with Gunning. The four bodyguards were seriously injured, so they couldn't drive now, and Masaki Yoshida had to send a car to pick them up. Dot. When Linf got home, Lin Zentong asked him with care, F, how's your relationship with Gunning? We just got to know each other a few days ago, today is the second time that we've met, Linf said. Why did she help you since you just got to know each other? Lin Zentong asked, because she cares about friendship and is a very nice girl, Linf said with admiration. He became Gunning's fan now. Lin Zentong nodded and agreed with Luf. This girl named Gunning is really unbelievable, you must forge a closer relationship with her. Do you understand? Lin Zentong said. I know, Luf replied. Even if Lin Zentong didn't remind him to do that, he would still do it of his own accord. Dot. When Gunning was back in City F. She booked a plane ticket to City B for the next day. The next noon, Gunning and her two bodyguards arrived back in City B. After the National College entrance examination, Gunning needed to go back to her school to finish the college application. She could tell someone else to do it for her, but it was very important for her future, so she decided to do it herself. It was time for lunch when Gunning got back to City B, so she went to dine with her two bodyguards. During lunch, Gunning heard other people talking about the latest news which happened the day before yesterday. A female SWAT named Du Jingtong was stabbed by a criminal when she went to rescue a girl. She had been in the emergency room for six hours, but her life was still in danger. Everyone had sympathy and respect for her. When Gunning heard it, she frowned with worry. Although she didn't get along with Du Jingtong, it was undeniable that Du Jingtong was a very professional and responsible SWAT. 